Well, Roger Federer just had an unexpectedly tough match against Mikhail Yuzny of Russia, and here's the slice on what happened. Well, Federer fans can find their zen again after that really tough match by Mikhail Yuzny. So what happened was the, f the match started off perfectly for Federer. He was playing very loose. Mikhail Yuzny wasn't really there. Federer was dropping some of the dirtiest drop shots I've ever seen in my life on him. There was like three in one game where it was like a return of serve drops, drop shot that pretty much came back over the net and a couple other ones that were just out of this world. And I was like, great, Federer is playing amazing going to be an easy match for him. Everything changed in the second set, though. Usually he started playing a lot better, but Federer stopped moving as well. And now this is a point of concern for Federer fans because I don't think it was as bad as Montreal at all, but he did seem to not be moving as well for the rest of the match. It was only slight, though. So like I said, not as bad as Montreal. I don't think it's a huge cause for concern. Um, hopefully it's just him getting back into the flow of things and his back kind of loosening up in this tournament. Um, but if you're a Federer fan out there, you're probably pretty worried in this match because uh, it looked like for a while there, especially when Yuzny was up two sets to one, that it might get away from Fed. Tactically, I think Federer's limited movement in this match made him do a few things that I don't think he should be doing if he wants to continue success. I think he was slicing a lot too much in this match instead of going over the ball, like I talked about in my video explaining why Federer's comeback is so crazy. When Federer goes over the ball, he's more aggressive and he implants his game on the opponent and re reduces and disables them from playing their game. He really wasn't able to do that as much in this match and Mikhail Yuzny was able to find his groove and do damage to Federer, especially using his backhand. So I think if Federer going forward has to stay more aggressive, he has to find a way to loosen up and just swing through his backhand, that's going to be a huge key for him. He was shanking a few more balls than he has been lately. I'm not sure why that was. It might have just been his still trying to find his rhythm on the hard court or just playing a guy like Mikhail Yuzny who does have a big backhand and he's then trying to think about it too much or something. I can't really know because I'm not Fetter. I'm not in his head. But all I know, he's shanking too many balls today and that wasn't a good sign. But I think he'll be able to clean it up. But since he's the GOAT, he stuck it out and won a match ugly, you know? And that's what great winners in sports do. They win matches that, you know, they could have gone either way, but they can stick it out and grind through and make it happen. So... Here going forward, Federer plays Feliciano Lopez next, and I can't imagine there being a big problem there because Feliciano Lopez just really doesn't have the weapons to hurt Federer. But if Lopez can come forward a lot, which he does, and he has crazy volleying skills, if he can really serve and volley really well, he's been having a good year so far. If he can serve and volley really well, it's going to force Federer to have to defend quickly. And if he's not able to move fully because of his back, could be another problem. But only time will tell that. For now, this has been The Slice. And that is why Federer had such a tough match against Mikhail Yuzny in the second round of the U.S. Open. Thanks for watching, folks. This is The Slice. This is where I do tennis reviews, commentary, and predictions. So keep it locked here. Subscribe down below, and your dreams will be fulfilled.